What does area mean, Jacob? Um, the area inside of the, the stuff inside the... Area is the number of square units inside a 2D plane surface, okay? Area is the amount of space inside an object. I had 1,000. All right, anywho. Area is the number of square units in a 2D plane surface, right? In there. Um, if you look at the reference sheet, the formula for area is pi r squared. So we need to have the radius. We need to have the radius. All of these circles that you're given to find the area of, you have to make sure you have the radius. Well, what if they give you the diameter? Can we find the radius? Mm -hmm. Yep. Look at number one. It says find the area. First thing I want you to do is tell me what are we given here? What's given to us, Owen? The diameter. The diameter. What is D? 23 yards. How do I find the radius then? What do I do to find the radius, Eric? Divided by two. Divided by two. When you divide it by two, what, you get 11.5 yards? Now, can we find the area of that circle? What's in the inside of the circle? If you have a circular swimming pool, right? The bell work problem that we did, we need to figure out how much area it's going to take up in my backyard. So you look up the area formula on the reference sheet, and I will tell you it says pi r squared. Do we have everything that we need to find this? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we write a equals pi times, what's my radius? 11.5. And then squared. Type that in on your desk-most calculator. It has the A squared button, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. And tell me what the area is approximately to the nearest hundredth. Why is this an approximate answer? What makes this approximately equal to, Osmar? Uh, Alana? Pi is endless, which means it's irrational. So what is this to the nearest hundredth, Owen? 415. How many? 415.47? Mm -hmm. Did you guys get that? 4.8. Four, eight. Four, eight. And then it's square yards. What do we notice about the second problem, Nathan? It's half of it's not half a circumference. I want to find the area of the shaded region. Not the outside, right? Mm -hmm. The inside. It's half of the what? It's half of the what? Half of the area. It's half of the area. What are we given on this one? What is given to me, Kira? The diameter. The diameter is equal to what? 20? So, Kira, what's the radius equal to? So, the radius is 10 inches. So, area equals, how am I going to write 1 half? 0 0.5. The formula is pi r squared, right? So, we're going to take pi times the radius is 10, and square it. Give me the area of this half circle to the nearest hundredth. So yes, Johnny, you're right, it's 157.08. What's my label? Inches square, not cubed. Cubed goes with 3D, and that's volume. Okay, any questions? All right, the next one, it says, find the radius of a circle with the area approximately equal to 28.27 
square inches. Everybody have that one? What math word do you see in this problem? It was kind of like our bell work where Jose said, okay, I see circumference, right? What math word do you see, Mateo? Okay, you see radius, that's right. What else, Blaine? Do you see area of a circle? What's the formula for the area of a circle? So the formula is area equals pi r squared. What is unknown to us? What's unknown? What's unknown? The radius? So we're trying to find this right here. What do we know? The area. So I'm going to plug that in for my area. 28.27 equals pi times, we don't know the radius, but we have to write radius squared. I have to start getting that by itself. How do I undo this and start solving for the radius, Jose? Divide both sides by pi. Divide both sides by pi. Give that to me to the nearest whole number. What is that to the nearest whole number? What is 28.27 divided by pi to the nearest whole number? What did you get, Eric? Nine. Nine? Oh, my. We don't want to solve for r squared. We want to solve for r, right? Well, what undoes addition? What undoes division? So what do you think undoes a square? What do you think undoes a square? Johnny? Nope. Owen? Nope. Jacob? Nope. What sounds like square that we've talked about? Square? No, not rhyming with it. Square what? Square root undoes a square. Watch. When you put the radical sign on there, it's pretty radical, isn't it? Yeah. What ends up happening is that radical right here knocks that square off. So we are left with R on this side. What is the square root of 9 then? What is the square root of 9? Eric? So that one would be three inches, okay? So 